This is what you have to do if you are lost your cat because they're very different to dogs when they get out there. Some cats are more bold and friendly and that's fortunate if they are that way because they will go up to people. But if you've got a nervous cat, that will hide for a week and won't come out even if it hears you calling it. Often cats don't go too far. So if you've got an indoor cat and there's a difference between a bold cat that used, is used to going in and out and it maybe doesn't come back that cat, but the indoor cat, some of them are nervous. So you must make allowances for that because people think if they're going to call their cat, it'll come out to them. It doesn't work that way. You find that cat has to get settled where it is. You can be calling and calling it and it'll hear you, but it won't move because it's too, too afraid and it's on territory that it's not used to. And it has to take time to get used to that territory. Usually, often, they can be very close. They could have gone under a house, they could have gone, um, you know, sort of in a yard, behind somewhere, but they won't come out. So you've got to be very patient. And what I, what I advise people to do is, again, put your flyers out, and then if you have some, if you can do this, if you can use your own scent, which is your urine, collect it in a bottle. I know it sounds pretty gross, but do it and then sprinkle it around. You can put a few drops, walk quite, about, uh, quite a few way because their sense of smell is very strong. Put it further up, put it up, but scatter that urine around the area. That also gives it a track to know how to get back to you with your scent there. So do that, but be patient because sometimes cats take a long time. You know, put flyers around your neighborhood, even in, on your neighbor's doorstep. They may have seen it, it may be hiding in their yard. But that's what you can do with cats. Cats are very different when they're lost to when dogs are, so remember that. Now, if you're fortunate enough and you get a call from one of your neighbors or from someone in the neighborhood, don't think that you can just go and call your cat to come out. It won't. You have to go in the evening when everything is quiet, preferably later on at night. So if you're a woman, take someone with you. But go and sit, just sit and call. And you may have to sit for a couple of hours, but keep calling and calling. And nighttime, cats in the darkness feel safer. And if they hear you calling and you're prepared to spend your time sitting somewhere where he's been sighted, and also don't worry too much because cats are pretty cute and I find that a lot of people do feed stray cats. So you may get a call from a neighbor who thinks they've seen your cat. Don't think that he's just gonna come to you, he won't. You've just gotta sit around the area whenever she puts the food out and just sit there and wait. Patience is what you need with a cat.